Welcome to the Eduonix JavaScript Server Technologies course. In this video I'll give you a brief overview of the technologies that we'll be working with. Before we do that, let's talk about why we would want to run JavaScript on the server. Well, the number one reason is speed and performance. JavaScript technologies like Node.js are event-based and non-blocking, whereas languages like PHP will block ports and you'll have to wait until the process is done before moving on. Uh, JavaScript works asynchronously, allowing it to work on a process without having to wait for the one before that to finish. Uh, on top of that, it ex it's extremely scalable, especially when paired with a NoSQL database like MongoDB or CouchDB. Um, and also it's JavaScript. It's a language that you most likely already know. So it's not like you have to learn a whole new language, you just have to learn uh, just learn some some conventions really. So what should you know before taking this course? It's definitely recommended that you know at least the basics of the JavaScript language. Uh, and what I mean by basics is how to include JavaScript in, into HTML and uh, know some variables, loops, um, functions, things like that. But if you don't know all that stuff, that's fine because we, de we dedicated an entire chapter to those things. Variables, arrays, loops, conditionals, functions, and events. And we also provided a chapter for the jQuery basics as well. The main technology that we'll be focus on, focusing on here is Node.js, and that Node.js is JavaScript on the server. Um, we'll be talking about a lot of different areas of Node. Uh, I think that we dedicated three chapters to it. Uh, we'll talk about Node.js itself, NPM, which is a, a Node package manager, which works like, for instance, an apt. Um, apt-get package manager in Linux, um, REPL which is the command line interface that comes with Node, will we'll integrate MongoDB which is a NoSQL schemaless database. We'll focus, we'll dedicate an entire chapter to the Express framework which gives us uh, an easy way to um, to kind of route HTTP requests to certain models and controllers and uh, basically build an entire application uh, with just Express and Node itself. We'll learn about some templating systems, Jade templating system. Uh, we'll also talk about the EJS templating system. We'll use the Stylus CSS engine. So we'll create a, um, I believe, a user manager application with just Node itself. In addition to learning about Node, we'll, we'll talk about um, multiple JavaScript frameworks. And these are all MVC, Model View Controller frameworks. And they're, they're made to interact with servers as well as uh, RESTful APIs, JSON RESTful APIs. Uh, first we'll talk about Backbone.js, which is a very light framework used mostly to build single page web apps. And then we'll talk about angular.js, which is my, uh, my favorite out of, out of these. It will bring dynamic functionality to HTML with directives, models, filters, and more. And a lot of people say, a lot of developers will say that Angular is what HTML would be if it was dynamic and was created to make web apps as opposed to static websites so we can actually use a lot of different um, dynamic aspects in, right inside the HTML. Ember.js, uh, basically the, um, the significant uh, pro to using Ember.js is you can write less code that does more. All right, so it's a, an, another really nice MVC framework to get under your belt. So you can see it is a big course. Uh, after taking this course, you'll definitely learn uh, at least five new technologies that you can bring to your everyday web development. 
Uh, in addition to Node and the frameworks, we'll be talking about templating libraries. All right, so we'll use multiple JavaScript templating libraries to present our application and its data. Uh, for instance, we'll use underscore.js. Um, that is a dependency um, for Backbone, so we'll learn that. Uh, handlebars.js we'll use with Ember. Jade and EJS are both template, template engine modules for Node, so we'll be looking into those in the Node chapters. So that's a, a, an extremely brief overview of what we'll be learning. Um, I'm really excited about this course. And I know you'll learn a lot. There's a ton of information in this course. And as long as you pay attention, go through the project files, uh, you'll definitely learn a lot of new technologies that you can definitely work into your everyday web development.